Today we're looking at Unit 3, Lesson 1, Solving Absolute Value Equations. And in order to solve an absolute value equation, we need to understand what absolute value means. So the absolute value is literally just the distance away from zero, or from zero. All right, so if I look at a number line, here's zero in the middle. Then from 0 to 3, how far is that? What is that distance? And it should just be 1, 2, 3, 3 units, right? Or 3, whatever. Um, 3 is 3 units away from 0. And same thing, if I look at negative 3, how far away is it from 0? And negative 3 is as well 3 units away. That's why if I take the absolute value of 3, I get positive 3 because it's 3 units away from 0. And if I take the absolute value of negative 3, it's also positive 3 because I'm 3 units away from 0. So we use this principle um, to solve the absolute value equations. And so if you think about, if I took the absolute value of some number and got 5, what must be true about my original number? Well, it should be, if I took the absolute value of some number and got 5, then either x is equal to 5, or x could have been equal to negative 5. And so, if this were our first problem, this would be my solution. And we solve every absolute value equation in this way. Notice I have the absolute value by itself, so this concept only works if the absolute value is all by itself. So let's look at an example. Uh, so let's say I have the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to 4. That's a 4. So the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to 4. Notice again I have the absolute value by itself. I have something inside, but that's okay. There's nothing on the outside. So I can use this same exact concept. Whatever this x plus 2 is, I know when I took the absolute value of it, it either equaled 4 or when I took the uh, before I took the absolute value, it equaled negative 4. So I split it apart into two different equations. Notice when I do that, my absolute value goes away, and one of them remains exactly the same, and one of them changes their sign. And now I have two ordinary linear equations that I can solve. So I'll subtract 2 from both sides on both of my equations, and I get x is equal to 2, and x is equal to to negative 6. So those are my answers. Alright. Let's do another one. So let's say I have um, 2x minus 5 plus 4 equals 7. Alright, so I have the absolute value of 2x minus 5 plus 4 is equal to 7, and you want to look at it. Again, I have stuff inside the absolute value, and that's fine, but here I have this plus 4. In order to use our property for the absolute value to break it into my two equations, the absolute value has to be by itself. So I have to get rid of that plus 4 first, so subtract 4 from both sides. Now I have the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. Now I have the absolute value all by itself, so I can break it apart, use the property of our absolute value to break it apart and make those two separate equations. So now I have 2x minus 5 is equal to positive 3, or 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 3. And again, two fairly simple linear equations to solve. So I'll add 5 to both sides on both of my equations, and you can do them one at a time, that's fine. So I get 2x is equal to 8, and I get 2x is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to 4, or x is equal to 1. Okay, one final uh, example. 
let's say I have the absolute value of 2x plus 4 uh, minus 6 is equal to negative 10. Alright, so again, before I can do anything, I want to check to make sure that my absolute value is by itself. I have stuff on the inside, which is fine. I'll get rid of it later, but I have this negative 6 on the outside. So I need to add 6 to both sides. So I get the absolute value of 2x plus 4 is equal to negative 4. Now I have the absolute value all by itself. So take a look at this. I have the absolute value of some number is equal to negative 4. Is it possible to take the absolute value of something? I don't know what's in there, but it doesn't matter. Is it possible to take the absolute value of anything and get a negative number? No, that's right. It's not. When I take the absolute value, it's distance. So whatever's on the inside, whatever it is, has to be... Um, when you take the absolute value, when you take the absolute value, no matter what's inside, you should get a positive number. All right, so no matter what's inside here, when you take the absolute value, it should be positive. Um, I'm taking the absolute value and I'm getting negative. There's no value in the world that you can take the absolute value of and get a negative. And so this is the only time, the only situation we would have no solution. So once you get the absolute value all by itself, if it still equals a negative number, then you have no solution. Okay, so that's it. Solving absolute value equations. Um, you do have practice problems. You can pause it and write it down. These should be done in your notes. All right, I will be looking for them when we do uh, notebook checks. If you have questions, come harass me, and I'll come harass you. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.